What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I'm out here in my shed again, yet again, and uh, we're, today we're going to install a switch on the, uh, the DIY automatic uh, garden watering system. Um, I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm very busy right now in life. Uh, my, my job is super busy. We're getting ready to move our offices and do a bunch of stuff. Uh, my personal life is busy. It's birthday season in my family. There's tons of stuff going on. So, unfortunately, I know some of you were looking forward to the Arduino controls, um, but and the you know the the soil humidity sensors and so forth to make this truly automatic. But unfortunately, I I'm, I don't think I'm going to get to it this season. Um, I'm I bought a switch right here, and we're going to call that good for this year. I'll I'll pick it up next uh, next year. But anyway, this is a, uh, the brand is Mysol. It's just one of these Chinese uh, manufacturers that no one's ever heard of. Uh, gets pretty good reviews on Amazon. What this is, this is a 12 volt switch and it's programmable and it also does 25 amps. Most of the ones that I was seeing only did 10. So um, decided to get the, the big one. I, I don't need 25 amps, but it'll make it useful for some other purpose some other day. Um, so this is what it looks like. Comes uh, shrink wrapped. It's very light. There's not a whole lot in here, I don't think. Uh, it does have batteries in it already because obviously the, the the clock is working, although the date and time is wrong. And then it does come with instructions, which is somewhat rare for Chinese electronics. Um, they're in very poor English, but uh, but at least having something, especially for the wiring diagram. I, I, I looked at some other reviews for some other models that had some really funky wiring but it looks like this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, you get power plus and minus power in 12, uh, 12 volt and then plus and minus power out on the load so nothing nothing in series no you know crazy crazy wiring it looks pretty straightforward so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get it mounted I'm gonna put it next to this converter. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that. Um, that was uh, the the video from yesterday, actually. I'm going to put the uh, the timer right here, so that you know the 12 volt power going outside will come into the timer, um, or the the power coming from the converter on the 12 volt side will come into the timer and then exit and go out to the pump outside. So I will go ahead and do that and then show you what we've got. Okay, we got this wired up. So as we see, the we've got the output side here, the 12 volt on this side of the converter coming over into the, the power side or the input side of the timer. And then we've got the same type of wire uh, coming out of this side, which is the load side, and going down all along and down and out over to the pump. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack off these alligator clips. And put some sort of. I'm trying to think of some quick disconnect way I can do this, but um, connect these wires, cut them to, to length, and then connect connect these wires um, instead of these alligator clips. So it's a more uh, permanent installation. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you what we got. Okay, I have everything wired up. I have this timer configured. Uh, have it configured to come on at 16.05 and turn off at 16.15. Uh, took a minute to figure out the instructions, but it it's fairly straightforward at that point. Um, so we'll wait around for another minute 15 and see what happens outside. Okay, so it works.
works. Timer comes on, turns on the sprinklers, heads, and now hopefully my garden will not die while I'm on vacation this year. So again, I apologize for those who were uh, hoping to see some cool automatic stuff, some cool programming with the Arduino, but it's just not going to happen this this time. Sorry guys, I'll try to do my homework and make it cool next year, but I just have so much going on that uh, it's just not going to happen. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.